The Wolf and the Seven Kids. There was once an old nanny goat who had seven kids. So these are like baby goats, like young goats. Now, that's what the word kid means. So when you call uh, a young person a kid, it's actually calling them like a, it's almost like calling them kitten or puppy. It's calling them a, a young goat, a baby goat. There was once an old nanny goat who had seven kids, and she was just as fond of them as a mother is of her children. One day she was going into the woods to fetch some food for them, so she called them all to, up to her and said, My dear children, I am going out into the woods. I am going out into the woods. Beware of the wolf. If once he gets into the house, he will eat you up, skin and hair and all. The rascal often disguises himself but you will know him by his rough voice and his black feet. The kids said, Oh, we will be very careful, dear mother. You may be quite happy about us. Bleeding tenderly, the old goat went off to her work. Before long, someone knocked at the door and cried, Open the door, dear children. Your mother has come back and brought something for each of you. But the kids knew quite well by the voice that it was the wolf. We won't open the door, they cried. You are not our mother. She has a soft, gentle voice, but yours is rough, and we are quite sure that you are the wolf. So he went away to a shop and brought a lump of chalk, which he ate, and it made his voice quite soft. Is that a thing? I don't think that's a thing. Because if you were to eat... I knew a guy who ate the entire bottle of I can't remember the name of this stuff but it's like a non-medicine stuff it's mostly a kind of a chalky thing but it's not made of chalk I don't know I know <laughs> I've never eaten chalk even as a little kid okay okay so the wolf ate some chalk he went back knocked at the door again and cried open the door dear children your mother has come back and brought something for each of you but the wolf had put one of his paws on the windowsill, where the kids saw it, and they cried, We won't open the door. Our mother has not got a black foot as you have. You are the wolf. They shouldn't have said why they know it's the wolf. So you know what the wolf is going to do, right? Then the wolf ran to a baker and said, I have bruised my foot. Please put some dough on it. And now I know about putting like cold steak on an eye. I don't know if that works. But putting dough on a foot, it's a little weird. Maybe that works and we just don't do it anymore. And when the baker put some dough on his foot, he ran to the miller and said, strew some flour on my foot. Well, the baker's going to have flour too, so he didn't need to do that. The miller thought the old wolf is going to take somebody in and refused. All right, he's smart. But the, but the wolf said, if you don't do it, I will eat you up. So the miller was frightened and whitened his paws. People are like that, you know. Yeah. Now the wretch went for the third time to the door and knocked and said, Open the door, children. Your dear mother has come home and brought something for each of you out of the wood. The kids cried, Show us your feet first so that we may be sure you are our mother. He put his paws on the windowsill, and when they saw that they were white, they believed all he said and opened the door. Now, maybe the mom needed to have like a special secret password, and they only know the password, and then they say to anybody that knocks at the door, what's the password? And this, then keep the door closed if they don't know the, the secret words. Like, I, don't, I wonder how, this is seven kids, so maybe if the mom just said, I know all of your names... Maybe the wolf doesn't know them, and that would be a good way. But they're not smart. So they're young. They're just kids, right? Alas, it was the wolf who walked in. They were terrified and tried to hide themselves. One ran under the table. The second jumped into bed. The third into the oven. I hope it wasn't on. The fourth ran into the kitchen. The fifth got into the cupboard. The sixth into the wash tub. And the seventh hid in the tall clock case. But the wolf found them all but one, and made short work of them. 
They swallowed one after the other, except the youngest one in the clock case, whom he did not find. Oh, we've got some pictures here. So these are the kids all running away. So this is the one running to the oven. So remember, kids are young goats. So this is the one going into the oven, going into the kitchen, going into bed, going it's under a table. I didn't know one went out. Uh, that picture is a little bit wrong because nobody went under under a table. Okay, and there's some even some more here. This is the wolf coming in with a white with white paws <laughs> and a and a little hood on. So this is the youngest one there. This is the one going into the cupboard. So we have one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. I could color these if I wanted to. Not very well. <laughs> That's where you start if you want to draw. I, I guess maybe I should. Maybe I should do that when I'm starting to draw. Is color. Okay. Except the youngest one in the claw case, whom he did not find. When he had satisfied his appetite, he took himself off and lay down in a meadow outside, where he soon fell asleep. Not long afterwards, the old nanny goat came back from the woods. Oh, what a terrible sight met her eyes. The house door was wide open. Tables, chairs, and benches were overturned. The washing bowl was smashed to atoms. The covers and pillows torn from the bed. She searched all over the house for her children, but nowhere were they to be found. She called them by name, one by one, but no one answered. See, see she knows all their names, of course. At last, when she came to the youngest, a tiny voice cried, I am here, dear mother, hidden in the clock case. Now, maybe that kid is just very, very, very afraid. And, but I think, because it's a clock, maybe, maybe that one can peek out and see that it's the, it's the mom, the mom goat. She brought him out and he told her that the wolf had come and eaten all the others. You may imagine how she wept over her children. At last, in her grief, she went out, and the youngest kid ran by her side. When they went into the meadow, there lay the wolf under a tree, making the branches shake with his snores. They examined him from every side, and they could plainly see movements within his distended body. Okay, so, distend, so distended is like a big, big belly. Ah, oh, heavens, thought the goat, it is possible that my poor children, whom he ate for supper, should still be alive? Hmm. She sent the kid running to the house to fetch scissors, needles, and thread. Then she cut a hole in the monster's side, and hardly had she begun, begun when a kid popped out its head. And as soon as the hole was big enough, all six jumped out, one after the other, all alive and without having suffered the least injury, for in his greed the monster had swallowed them whole. You may imagine the mother's joy. She hugged them and skipped about like a tailor on his wedding day. The wolf is really asleep. <laughs> really, really, really asleep. Like, wow, in a coma asleep. At last, she said, go and fetch some big stones, children, and we will fill up the brute's body while he is asleep. Ew. Then the seven kids brought a lot of stones as, as fast as they could carry them and stuffed the wolf with them till he could hold no more. The old mother quickly sewed him up without his having noticed anything or even moved. At last, when the wolf had had, had his sleep out, he got up, and as the stones made him very thirsty, he wanted to, to go to a spring to drink. But as soon as he moved, the stones began to roll about and rattle inside him. Then he cried, What's the rumbling and tumbling that sets my stomach grumbling? I thought twas six kids, flesh and bones. Now I find it's naught but rolling stones. And wouldn't the wolf notice that he's got a gigantic scar with stitches in it? When he reached the spring and stooped over the water to drink, the heavy stones dragged him down, and he was drowned miserably. When the seven kids saw what had happened, they came running up and cried aloud, the wolf is dead, the wolf is dead. 
and they and their mother capered and danced around the spring in their joy. <laughs>